Hey everyone, Fast Eddie here. So first I'd like to thank all the supporters and everybody who's watching me. If you're not a subscriber, I have about 400 videos. And bam, my book just come out. So it shows you a bunch of drills you could do and set up in a parking lot in order to keep on practicing. It's called Moto Jitsu Master Riding Program. You go on Amazon and get that right now. So this video is gonna be about how to do a U-turn um, with more practical reasons to why to do it and more things to practice. So I made another video, I'll link um, they'll pop up at the end of the video about how to do a U-turn. I talk about friction zone and body position. So this is going to be about things you can set up to go practice it and you're not relying on the friction zone or counterbalancing too much or anything else. So a couple things to keep in mind. This is real simple to set up. So as you can see, if you try and look behind you, I just have two strips of blue painter's tape I just put on the ground and they're 25 feet apart. So you can always make it go closer to make it more difficult, but right now it's just 25 feet simple. So what I'm going to be doing, I'll be going through, I'll be making a U-turn, and I'm not going to be, so I'll, first I'm going to go both directions, I'll make a U-turn left, I'll come back around, I'll make a U-turn right, and uh, the camera lady, she's going to walk to seven different locations of just watching me do that, so you can see when I turn my head, where I'm actually looking, what my body position is doing, so you get to see all these different views of what I'm, what it looks like to be on the bike. And now I'll show you a couple things of why, of what you can do. Like I'll turn off the bike, I'll pull in the clutch, I'll leave the clutch out, I'll go one-handed and still make the same U-turns um, just to get the idea that it's not always gonna be a perfect scenario. So the easiest example to think about, say you pull up to a gas station pump and it's, it's blocked, it's turned off, it's broken, it's not working, but this one over here is working. So you gotta make a U-turn. Or you're going down a road and there's construction, the road is blocked. There's a car behind you, there's a car in front of you, and the construction people are making you turn around to go back the other way. And you're creeping up, and now it's your turn to make a U-turn to go back the other way, but you only have the width of the road to think about. And the average width of the road is 25, 30 feet, so you gotta be able to make a U-turn. Because there's people behind you, you know, you got things to do, you gotta get up and go. If you're in a parking lot, if you're grocery shopping, there's a whole bunch of practical scenarios where you just need to be able to flip the bike around very easily. And this is the easiest way to go practice this stuff. So I'm gonna throw my gear, and I'll show you left, and I'll show you right, on a whole bunch of different directions, on different angles so you can see, and then I'll show you a bunch of other cool things you can practice, because what if you don't have a clutch? What if you have a scooter, or a bike that doesn't have a clutch? All these things are irrelevant, because the same basic thing applies. So I'm gonna jump on the bike and uh, show you some stuff. Check it out.
So as I was doing the actual U-turn, I wasn't using any brakes. I was pulling the clutch, turn the bike, big, big head turn. So I, with all those different angles, go back and look at the timing of my head turn. This is very important. You don't turn your head too early because you can't see what's in front of you. Since I'm going slow, you just turn your head right before the bike. So it's head and then you bike to turn. I'm not looking at the ground. I'm using my peripheral vision to manage where the lines are. I can see the lines on the ground, but I'm not staring at them. I'm trying to look behind me as early as I can. And that was kind of using the clutch a little bit. Now I'm just going to do, like say you don't have a clutch, you have a scooter, whatever else. Now I'm going to do a U-turn left and right, no clutch. And then I'm going to do it to where like I've stopped right there and I have to go straight and make a quick U-turn. So I'll do a couple of those. I'll do one handed, the other hand. So I'll just do a whole bunch of U-turns now, giving a whole bunch of different reasons or methods of how you could do it depending on your bike, but the same principle thing applies. It's mainly just getting your body weight to the opposite side and point your chin and look where you want to go. So camera lady, you can go back to the very first spot. And there's no clutch. Now I'll do a U-turn left and a right, but I'm just gonna get enough momentum to get myself going a little bit, but then I'm gonna pull in the clutch and turn off the bike. So I'm not gonna have any power while I'm actually doing the U-turn. So I'm gonna go over by the line and park, and I was, I'm gonna mimic, say I'm at a gas pump, right? I'm gonna go up to the, there's four pumps, one, two, three, four. And I go to that one over there, but I'm really close to the curb or the store or a car. I'm like, oh crap, I gotta make a quick U-turn. I can't back up, so there's a car behind me. I just have to make a quick U-turn immediately. Thing. I go to this gas pump, oh it doesn't work, so I'm gonna try the other one. Gas pump don't work. Really, really tired. So 
simply doing that, stopping, coming to a dead stop, taking off, doing a quick U-turn, stopping the bike, vision, throttle control. If you want to use your brakes, you can, rear brake, everything comes into play. So this is 25 feet. You want to start off, make it easier, just go 30 feet, two lines. You get pretty good at that, you're comfortable, go to 25, go to 20, and now you're doing a 20 foot U-turn. And just keep on getting closer and closer with these two pieces of tape until it gets become really difficult where you might have to lean really, really, really far, maybe get the full lock even. And this will help you out with all the Moto Jitsu drills as well. But the reason why I did one hand off, other hand off, bike off, bike on. So if you have a bike that has no clutch and you can't use the clutch to do that, you get a little bit of momentum and you counterbalance and you look where you're supposed to go, the bike will follow where you're looking and what you're doing. So the main idea of all this stuff, go set this up and do 100 U-turns in a row in every type of situation you can imagine you're gonna be get pretty good at doing U-turns. Just like if you set up emergency braking and you did 100 emergency braking stops in a row, you'll get pretty good with the right technique. So that's the main idea. So don't forget to hit subscribe, watch the other video about my, um, my first video about U-turns. I talk a lot about the clutch and the friction zone. I'm not gonna re-explain all that stuff. You can watch that video later. But this is something very simple. Go set it up and go practice. See you guys there.